Uh, my name is John Davis. I am the um, lead developer and architect of the uh, Instrument Operations Center for Tempo. It's located in Cambridge, Massachusetts at SAO. Well, I've been uh, with Tempo since 2013, so it's been almost 10 years now. Yeah, my name is Xiong Liu. Yeah, I'm the Tempo Step Principal Investigator. Uh, I have a great start to work on Tempo since the beginning. So that's November 2011. So I'm Kevin Doherty. I'm the project manager of Tempo. Uh, and I'm from NASA Langley's Research Center. I've been working on Tempo for about five years since right around the time when the instrument was delivered. Early on, the Smithsonian had the idea for Tempo. Uh, and the, the idea was born from the science community there. And when trying to figure out the best way to implement it, um, they, they realized that it was, it was a good idea to partner with the NASA Center as part of the proposal of Tempo. The government contracted out on, on behalf also of the Smithsonian Institution uh, to have Ball Aerospace design and build the, the Tempo instrument. Um, they completed that in November of 2018. So I did all the coding for this and uh, developed the, the various test procedures and the documentation, putting all that together and, and the testing. And then once we, in, once we brought Maxar and Intelsat on board, I had to interface with them to make sure that the data that we ultimately get through them, we can digest and process within the IOC. And then from there, once we're done, then it goes to the Science Data Processing Center where that's where the science products actually emerge. Yeah, it's super exciting, uh, you know. We have been working on this for more than 10 years, right? Yeah, it, and uh, well, it's about time, right, to, to see the launch and to get the data after the launch, to work on real data. It's just so exciting. After Tempo launches, uh, there'll be a, a period where Intelsat is checking out the spacecraft, making sure all of their systems are functional. Then we'll be allowed to turn on the Tempo instrument. Um, then the first major milestone that most people will notice is what we call first flight which will occur in July when the, the door to the instrument is finally opened up and we get our first images, our first look of Earth through, through the telescope. Uh, so after that point, we'll go through some commissioning and we'll reach, um, reach a point where we're ready to begin nominal or just our normal operations. My, my, my wife and my son are both here uh, for the launch and we're looking forward to the, a night launch because that's, that's going to be quite spectacular. You know, we got a lot of guest lists, right? We got a five, uh, 600 of guest lists. Yeah, so we're going to watch with the entire Tempo team. And a lot of the NASA, Smithsonian, CFA, SL leadership, that's Langley leadership. And uh, most importantly, I got my family members coming with me, going to witness the Tempo launch. That's just so exciting, yes. It's a combination of, of relief and excitement all at the same time. Um, being able to, to watch it launch uh, and prep to turn it on on orbit in, in late May. Um, it's, a, it's a combination of, of relief that the testing has all gone well um, and that we believe, we fully believe in the instrument and its capabilities to be able to get on orbit and make the measurements that we're looking for. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, engines full power, and lift off. Intelsat 40E, go Intelsat, go Falcon.